I'm Jason Creel. I want to talk to you today about how to handle low ball uh, competition out there. You know, I've been facing that this year. I have a customer I charge $45 a cut. He comes out and shows me a postcard he got on his door for $30 a cut. Well, I'm not going to cut it for $30. I politely told him that. He said, no, no, I'm not going to, you're not going to lose my business. He said, um, I'm just letting you know what's out there. Well, you know, the, the truth of the matter is, you're not, you're not going to run your business legally, which of course a lot of people don't, and, and at these low ball prices. And so what I would encourage you to do is don't get involved in that, that low ball pricing scheme. Most of those people don't stay in business. Um, and so, and, and I just don't see how they're gonna be able to do as good of a job, you know, at those low prices. And so uh, I would, uh, you gotta focus on what price makes you a profit. Okay, I'm not saying go high on your prices, but I definitely would stay away from the low. I try to stay around kind of the going rate. Um, and I, so that, that gets rid of a lot of the customers um, that you don't want because I've found the customers that are just seeking the absolute cheapest price are not the customers you want anyway. They, so, you know, my, my encouragement to you is um, just let the low ballers uh, pass you by. Don't get phased if you lose a customer because somebody came in with a $5 per cut cheaper price. You know, the key is you stick to your marketing plan and you know, you're gonna lose customers, but if, you, if you're focusing on marketing and charging a fair price and doing a good job, you know, for me, I almost would, would gain far more customers than I lose, you know, even with the low ballers out there.